my name is Jenna Rose and my favorite media is chalk pastel. Mainly because it is so versatile and you can make it very bold or you can make it very pale. Whatever you want to do, it is nearly 100% um, possible to do with chalk pastel. My influences are my art teachers um, from high school, mainly because as I entered high school, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to pursue any art classes, and I went into um, my intro to art class, and it was the last class that I had, and as soon as I walked in, I knew that my teacher was just a little bit like weird in the best way that there could be. And as the year went on, I realized that um, what made him weird was that he made art something that you can really, really enjoy instead of something that's more like a chore. And that's something that I've discovered is kind of hard to do with any teacher with any subject. And um, my experiences uh, in school are... Um, intro to art, drawing two, and AP drawing, as well as painting one and painting two. And outside of school, I have attended the Arkansas Young Artists Association competition for the past two years. And um, I'm also the president of art club, and I have been a member for the past two years as well, as well as being a junior representative my freshman year. Um, my most successful piece is um, the um, is a picture of a girl with two sunflowers over her eyes, and the reason why that's the most successful piece to me is because it was really the first piece that anyone had ever said, "Oh my gosh, that looks like a picture." And to me, I really love realistic. Um, pieces and so whenever someone says that to me it really means a lot and it was just so bright and bold and I don't <laughs> remember like thinking oh my gosh this is going to be so good because I honestly probably thought that it was just going to turn out terrible and so it really did um, hit me as a successful piece. My favorite piece is a piece of a boy with um, gauze wrapped around his head and it is one of my most recent pieces as well and the reason why I like that this one so much is because it is very bold as, and you can see so much texture and I just feel like I did a really good job with um, showing the texture where it's supposed to be rather just where I know it is and for me that is very hard to do a lot of the time. And my favorite master artist is um, Hopper because he shows things in a simplistic yet realistic way and it's as if you take a picture and you just make it as simple as it can be and where you show you show the colors where they're supposed to be, you show the beauty where it's supposed to be and he's just someone that I very much admire. This is one of my five pieces. The background is watercolor and to make the texture I used some um, uh, clear wrap and saran wrap and then the person herself is uh, with oil pastel and I left the oil pastel out for the um, mask because I really enjoyed the um, textures and the color and how vibrant the watercolor was in the background. This is another one of my pieces and it's one of my most recent pieces. And the reason why I chose this was because I felt that it showed a lot of versatility with the textures that I'm able to do. 
with the smoothness, smoothness from her skin to the roughness of the paint that is on her hand and the uh, texture of the shirt as well as the texture of the stained glass window and I just really enjoyed it from being on black paper and using white and black charcoal um, as well as the um, challenge it was to have so many different types of angles and types of textures. My next piece is also my favorite piece because um, of the textures as well with the gauze and how the gauze only showed um, where there were shadows instead of where the light hit it the most as well as the colors within the skin on the, around the eye and the entire piece itself was just um, challenging because it was something that I haven't really done with the gauze and the way that the um, the cloth folds and so this was just a really really enjoyable piece to finish. This next piece is of a girl hanging upside down on a jungle gym and the background is made with watercolor and salt and um, saran wrap and then the ladder itself is made with charcoal but the girl I did on brown paper and then I cut her out and she is done with um, chalk pastel and the reason why I chose such bold and warm colors was because I felt that the contrast with the background would be very um, bold and bright which I feel was accomplished and the lightening of the background was done with chalk pastel as well. My final piece is the oldest piece of my selection and it is my most um, successful piece in my um, in my opinion because the um, sunflowers and where they meet are and where they are overlapping is able to be shown by the shadows and the lips and the skin are um, shown with very um, distinct shadows as well and the tones within the sunflowers and the hair and the skin are all um, very nicely done in my personal opinion. The artist that I chose was Elaine de Kooning because her figures and her um, choice in colors and the way that she expresses the um, figures themselves is very admirable because she does it in such a way that it looks effortless and it looks like it can be achieved very quickly when in actuality it's very difficult to do to try to just um, put paint or whatever media you're using on a piece of paper and the media that I used was uh, chalk pastel mixed with gesso and water because the base um, color that you would get is very smooth and then I came back on top of it in some places and areas with chalk pastel because it enhances the colors that are used um, previously.